Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for the weekly update. And today's update is actually about creating lists inside your command account. So the list at the end of the day is kind of going to be like a group that you're going to send your contacts out to. Is that what I, that's a horrible way of phrasing it. It's a group that you can actually send your emails out to. That's a better way. All right, so think of it like this. So whenever we're actually going on to our campaign section and there might be maybe new buyers or new leads from an open house that you want to send a specific piece to, all right, you can actually make different lists to then send out to just those contacts. All right, so much like any type of group that you may have over on another email platform, this is going to allow something similar. All right, so in order to update this, the first thing that we'll actually want to do is click on that campaigns option over the left-hand side. Let's move this out real quick just so we can see that on here. All right, so the campaign section is going to be that little megaphone with kind of looks like a coin on here. All right, and once we click on that, now we can actually select the emails option up here at the very top. So I'm going to select that emails option for a second. Perfect. All right, and once we pull this up, this is going to show all of our emails that we've physically sent All right, over the past 30 days on here. So we can actually go, obviously, however long we'd like. We can see how many recipients it was sent out to, how many views or people have actually opened the piece, and then how many times someone's clicked on it, if there is a link inside there for them to click on. All right, and then on here, we'll also be able to see how many emails we have left in our command mail account. So just to give you a heads up for the command mail option, you have 5,000 emails that you can send monthly. All right, and if you do need more than 5,000, you can always upgrade your account as well through the marketplace. All right, but once we're actually inside here, if you notice on the right-hand side, we're going to have this configure list option. So let's click on configure list real quick. All right, now once we click on configure list, this is where we can actually go through and sync, you know, either the list for our MailChimp account or command email. So there's two different options when you're actually sending out an email on the platform now. You can do it through MailChimp, which is how it's always been since command launched. Or as of now, as of uh, last week, actually, you can do it through command email instead. All right, so a couple different options. Now, if you want to do it through MailChimp, if you notice, you will need to have your account linked up. So make sure you go to the settings on here. All right, and link up your MailChimp account. Now, MailChimp is free for 2,000 contacts or 10,000 emails a month. I guess I really should say and. So if you have anything over 2,000 contacts, there is a charge to it. Now, command email is free for up to uh, really an unlimited amount of contacts. You can send it to anyone and everyone in your contact section on here, but it does have a limitation of 5,000 emails a month. So that's kind of the, the two big differences on there as far as sending limits. All right, now if we want to create a list on here, if you notice, once I click on command email, I can now already see my lists that are available on here, and I can even go through and edit or delete them. But if I click the create list option at the top right up here, all right, I can go through and I can actually start to create the list on here that I may want to display. So maybe I want to put on here open house leads. There we go. Third time typing that in as a charm. <laughs> all right, so once we do that, then we can actually go through and see all of our contacts. I don't have very many contacts on here, but I can go through and I can add inside any that I want to. I can even search for obviously their name on here, their email, their neighborhood or I can even search for them by tags. So if you happen to add inside the contacts under a specific tag, whether it's for the leads, whether it's for an open house, whatever it might be, then you can actually go through and add them manually on here. Now, one thing to note, they will need to have an email on here since this is obviously for an email list. So if we notice, there's a test contact down here that doesn't have an email. So that's why it's popping up grayed out with a little kind of triangle on here with the exclamation point. All right, but once we actually create this list name, then we can actually add inside any contacts we want to. All right, so I'm going to add these five real quick, and I'll click that Confirm button. And it's that simple. Now I've added inside my open house leads. I can go through, I can edit this at any time. I can delete this as well if I want to. So completely up to you guys. And if I do click on that, oh, looks like I've actually got an error on it. Hopefully that'll work in a second. All right, but if I do click on it, then I can delete it as well too. All right, but in this case, whenever we actually try to create a new campaign via the email option, I can now use my open house leads list to send just to those contacts immediately. All right, so just to that particular group. So really, at the end of the day, a list is going to be no different than any type of group you might send out to as well. So there you go. So that's how simple it is to set up a brand new list on here inside the campaign section to utilize for command email or even for MailChimp if you have enough MailChimp connected. So there you go. 
So that is your KDB command tip for the day.